the Clay North Lounge on the fourth floor. We're gonna do another sports recap Wednesday. See how long we can go further with this. This week's topic will be college football teams in the top twenty-five that you definitely want to support. I mean, you definitely. I definitely believe they're going to make it, and top twenty-five teams are like really. So I'll, I'll call this segment "Buy Your Stock, Sell Your Stock." Buy, buy, buy. If it's a team that should probably be higher than it is on the poll, and you know they're going to do good things, sell if the team's like definitely overrated and they need to be lower in the poll. So let's go win and alternate. Um. I'm going to go teams to buy. Number four, LSU. I'm going off the coaches' poll. LSU has a lot of talent returning. Their quarterback is, he's not Cam Newton, but he can run around and give you that. He definitely needs to work on his passing, but there's a lot of talent. The only notable loss from LSU is Jordan, I mean, is um, Patrick Peterson, their cornerback. But they do have a whole lot of talent returning. Don't think Alabama's going to walk away with the SEC because LSU is right here. So buy your stock on LSU. Definitely buy your stock. Sell your stock with number three, Oregon. Oregon, I feel like Oregon is definitely overrated. And you got your, your scandal going on. Yes, their offense is back. But at some point, you're going to have to have a defense that actually stops their team's offense instead of trying to score 50 points a game. And they have to replace, like, Casey Matthews and a lot of people on their defense. Their defense is a huge question mark. And I'm not buying that they can um, make it back to the national championship. Last year was their one shiny moment. They cut the defense cut it close, and they didn't have it. Yeah, everything going on in Eugene, I'm not expecting Oregon to be back in the national championship picture. This is... For teams to buy, I was torn between Texas A&M and Oklahoma State. I will now I will go with A&M because Oklahoma State doesn't have a defense. They never have. they Oklahoma State is a team that you like to you, you would love to watch them on TV because they're, they're always scoring points. They find creative ways. They're like an offensive juggernaut, but their defense is very sketchy, and their defense is the reason why. They haven't won the Big 12 in a long, long, long time. A&M returns a lot of people on their defense. Their noble loss, I don't remember his name, I think his last name is Varner, linebacker. But um, they had the defense to stop, stop people in the Big 12. Yes, they won the move to the SEC, but the SEC was not the best move for them, especially not this year. They can take advantage of this 18 Big 12. Oklahoma's number one, and... I'm not truly buying that, but it's whatever. Um, Texas A&M is the one team I believe who can stop or Oklahoma. So definitely buy your stock on Texas A&M. They're going to definitely make some noise in the Big 12 this year. Sell your stock on number five, Florida State. I think this is the most laughable. Like, all of a sudden, overnight, everybody believes Florida State is like the best thing going. Yeah, they beat South Carolina last year, and um, the Chick-fil-A Bowl. What is that doing? And that doesn't do a lot for me because South Carolina's quarterback is a head case. People have said that. South Carolina is sketch in general. But back to Florida State. Um, Florida State's defense, I think, is very, very, very overrated. People will just say, like, this defense is just awesome. They have all this talent returning. And I'm thinking, all you have to do is flash back to our game. Like, when UNC played Florida State, we just ripped them apart, especially that play action. Like, our, one of our right receivers had 223 yards himself. So, yeah, their defense is totally capable of being ripped apart. Um, their offense, the quarterback is a question. I think they have, like, a Michael Vick kind of character, a quarterback that can lead. The guy who can try to give you a run probably needs to work on his passing. But, I mean, the offense is okay, but the defense I'm just not sold on. So, sell your stock. For Florida State to be top five, that means they have to be really good. Nobody in the ACC has been that darn good in a long, long time. But that's another reason why I'm selling stock. Um, teams to buy. Number 10, Wisconsin. Wisconsin is just grinded out. They like to run right at you, and they, they do a really good job at it. I mean, they had a really good record last year. They represented the Big Ten at the Rose Bowl. Um, they unfortunately lost to TCU. 
but they picked off former NC State quarterback Russell Wilson in the offseason. And to me, that just makes their team really good. I mean, Ohio State's rolled in scandal. Um, Nebraska may come in and contend, but I think Wisconsin is the favorite to win the Big Ten this year. For good reason. Buy your stock in Wisconsin. Wisconsin is not the best thing to look at when you watch them on TV because all they do is, like, run. They find a billion ways to run. But Wisconsin is going to give you some Ws. So definitely buy your stock in Wisconsin. Sell your stock on number six, Stanford. Because the only person I've heard about on Stanford's team is Andrew Luck. And maybe Andrew maybe Andrew Luck will win Heisman. But the truth is, he probably won't just because Stanford's not going to win enough games. The talent, that little group that he has around him changed. They're young. They're not, they're not athletic. You still have Oregon, um... Arizona, USC is, I mean, USC has a postseason ban, but that doesn't mean USC is not good. You still have these things to compete with. Remember all your close games you had last year, Stanford. I'm just not buying that Stanford can come back the way that they did last I mean, represent the way they did last year. You know, last year felt more like a blip on the radar than a... Stanford's really, really good, and Andrew Luck's the best quarterback in the world. So we'll see how that goes. I'll sell your stock on Stanford. Um, I'm going to do just a quick blip. I'm going to do two teams, wild card teams that we don't necessarily know what they're bringing to the table, but you can definitely buy one stock and sell another. Um, I don't want to sound like a homer here, but I definitely want people should buy stock from North Carolina. North Carolina did receive 14 votes in the coaches' poll. The media, the, the nation is looking at the coaching change. They go, Bush Davis is out, all of a sudden Carolina is not going to be relevant anymore. What they don't know is that there's a lot of talent on this team. Brent Renner is supposed to be better than TJ Yates. I mean, the receivers, they're veteran. Running back is probably a question mark, but under John Shoup, any running back is going to get their yards. On um, defense, pretty much everybody on defense has started the game last year. They may not have been starters per se, but... They started the games last year, so they all have experience. Plus, we have Zach Brown, the fastest guy, and Charles Brown, the cornerback. Yeah, and the D line is going to always go after your quarterback. That's not an issue. Sell, 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 sell when it comes to Miami, Florida. Miami, but Miami has a lot of people on their current team who is involved in the Shapiro scandal, and whether they sit them. We don't know whether they're going to send them out, Al Gordon's going to send them out, or play him, play them. It's just too uncertain. You don't know what you're going to get with Miami, because Miami can probably win about four games. They can probably win ten. They can, but it's it's too uncertain for you to sit there and try to boss talk on Miami. Miami hasn't been relevant in a long, long time. I don't think they will if they play those guys. But, yeah, sell your stock on Miami. That's all I have to say about teams to buy and sell.